one. What up, YouTube? Asian Persuasion here with my boy Slim. Ooh, we got my boy Trip. We got Bortle. Enforces. We got Enforcers. We got everyone. And we're here with my homie Ruben, who got top four of the UDS Tulsa playing what deck, my friend? Best deck. Best deck, what is it? Uh, second Spiral. Best deck. Second deck. <laughs> second. With Strip says Pendulum. Yeah. Pendulum Spiral. Pendulum. Oh, oh, that's nice, dog. <laughs> you got <laughs> God, bro. Bro, don't, 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 bro. My bad, my bad. You can't tell everyone what we're playing for Vegas, okay? Yeah, man. This is a fake list. Secret, secret. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Not a fake list. Uh, start off with shout outs, obviously. So, yeah, let's uh, do it. No one forgets and doesn't watch it at the end of the video. Shout outs to Kamal. Uh, he's the person I test with the most. Tell my Theory. Kamal, bro. Uh, uh, shout outs to Manav. He stayed up all night with me testing the deck uh, the night before. We went to sleep at like 8 in the morning. funny story before you say this. I he was they went to test at midnight. I go sleep whatever. I come back 7 a.m. They're still there. They were still. We playing. built the best. Like I really think it was the best deck. I just I got unlucky in top four. It, it happens. It uh, but happen. there's some things that I could change with it that I'm gonna mess around with. Maybe add pendulum cards. You never know. Pen there you go. <laughs> wink, wink, pendulum yeah, cards. Shout out to everyone back at home. Shout out to everyone I haven't seen in so long. You the squad, know, obviously. Yeah. Deuce is right there. Oh yeah, you already know. Hi, Deuce. He loves Deuce. 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 Deuce is yeah. nice. We love Deuce. <laughs> He's an yeah, uh, Just shout out to everyone that I've hung out with this week, and it's been a while since I've been to an event, so it was really fun. Yeah. I missed you. Glad to have you. And you performed well, yeah. so it was great. It Let's was get great. into it. Let's so it. obviously, uh, one quick fix, one drones. They're not that good, so you only play one of them. Yeah. <laughs> no, Konami did yeah. it for you, bro. Konami. Yeah, so like, they're not that good. Untouched uh, my ban list. Two agent, one tough. So like, essentially three agent. This is just better going second, most of the time. Like, there's times where you just want this to be a special summon, and then your hand just becomes stronger. But I didn't want to enter the tournament without tough in my main deck because I am infamous for losing die rolls. <laughs> so. I really just wanted to be safe, and I played against eight guys throughout Swiss, what? so it was really important so to have tough in my work. deck. Yeah, just going like resort tough every turn was crazy. Yeah, it's really hard yeah, to Yeah, it, it was really important. Uh, then next to the Spiral Monsters, obviously. Oh, two mass plan. Uh, two mass plan is important just in case you draw one with souls. You always want to resolve that card, it's the best card in your deck. So it also comes up in one specific combo where you need the mass plan in your graveyard. So you can griffin your opponent, curious them for any random card that you want, do the full combo with sleeper. But the thing is you run out of boss in your graveyard to banish for sleeper, so you need the second mass plan. It, in that specific combo. Uh, obviously sleeper, last sort. Uh, we thought about cutting this, but it's just it's too strong. Like being able to protect your sleeper is really important. Uh, I lost one game because I just couldn't keep my last sword on it versus Jesse. We grinded for about 30, 35 minutes. I my oh sleeper my came God. on the field. I think two or three times, it's just I didn't, wasn't, didn't have a way to protect it, so my board kept blowing up and I couldn't establish any control. Oh man. Obviously, uh, my uh, nice. The God card. Yeah, the God card, essentially. <laughs> this card's crazy. Uh, obviously, sends mass plan, draws cards. Um, this is probably the best extender in the deck. Uh, you don't have to normal summon to use it, but this is the last card you ever want to activate because uh, it's so strong, it can push, it can see multiple cards, discarding traps, well as your opponents like can't play around it. So if like you start with like a normal summon, like tough agent going second, like you bait one or two interruptions, then you go like activate like goods, try push again, and mm -hmm. then you summon souls, they shouldn't have enough pushes to keep up with you at that point, or even if they do, you should establish more control than they do. Yeah. Uh, then my favorite engine in the deck, three scrap, Whew. one O line, and then apparently my best friend, because yeah. I drew him. Four out of my five top cut matches. Or er, five out of my six, actually. Um, this engine's crazy. Uh, me and Manav agreed that O line was just better than Jet Synchron because we don't, wouldn't have to discard a card and we wanted to keep our hand advantage. As you're gonna see later, we decided to main hand trap, so it was really important to not lose any cards just to try and combo. That's and it great. makes it like a one card starter, so when you draw it going second, you can just play freely. Then mm -hmm. onto the hand traps two Ogre, two Crow, two Drool. These are like somewhat standard for the main deck. Ogre was our choice, uh, like the flex spot, because we didn't want to have multiples of the same ones. Uh, these aren't hard ones for turns, but we wanted to have more impact by drawing different hand traps together. So like drawing two crows, it's strong, but it's like drawing two uh, drills isn't. So I wanted to like space them out and just be able to draw any combination of these and they should be able to stop any turn. Yeah. The Ogre was very good versus the Luna deck, either hitting a tiger so they can't reoccur or hitting Redoer so they can't search game or they don't have the Redoer on my turn to record it. If I ever played against Trey Fowler, he was a servant. <laughs> that servant, <laughs> though. If uh, your opponent doesn't play around it, they can get punished by you just ogring Resort, ogring Helix. Like, it's just the most like overall decent hand trap versus yeah. every deck. Like, I ogre Debug in my bubble feature match, and it just made him pass turn. It's really good. Yeah. Uh, they all were great. I never like once wanted a different. The only one like this could have just been Impermanence, uh, and the reason it could have been Impermanence was just to beat Winda. Uh, game one. Card. Yeah, Windows like very hard to out. It, that's the reason I lost. So, damn. 
Uh, that's one of the changes I would make. Then obviously three call by the grave. Uh, we don't want to lose to hand traps. And that's another reason we played just two ofs, because we didn't want, want to draw a call by the grave and have to call by the grave the same hand trap we have in hand. Yeah. Three goods. Um, three's a lot. I did see multiples a couple times, but I just wanted to be able to play almost every game and just make my deck as consistent as possible without losing to Drool. That was the same reason for playing the scraps. I thought that everyone would just be made decking Drool. It's not awful versus like the uh, scrap version, but you can just play around it easier. It's good versus like the danger version or the popper up, which got very popular this weekend. So yeah. I thought it was extremely important. It can also like help post board to like set the floodgate of choice or trap of choice that I decided to play. Two cars. So it's literally in line. I told Manav, let's just play a second one, and it was our 41st card. Uh, the, it came up so many times from, I think it came up at least once every round, if not multiple times, just being able to summon back a monster in the grind game, it being able to protect from battle, it's just crazy. Some people just don't read their cards. Uh, obviously the best field spot ever printed, uh, another copy of it. Coolers, one for one, reborn, so like all these cards are standard. And then the one cu one of you don't want to draw assault. <laughs> Soul. Yeah, it, <laughs> it, it sucks, but you have to play it. Yeah. And then the three probably like arguably best cards in the deck because it's just not once per turn. Three more reborns. And then utility wire. This card we decided to main deck just in case we got mind game one or just had a random floodgate come up. This is just extremely important because we heard a lot of people siding mine or even main decking mine and going second decks. And I didn't want to just auto lose to them going mine, sleeper pop, bait trigate, activate mine again, and then I just scoop. So yeah. Uh, it was really good. It won me a lot of games. It got sided out a decent amount of time, but it's really good versus the rogue decks. It is. Uh, tokens, come on. We miss you, <laughs> come buddy. Come on, bro. So, as you saw, since we played DD Crow, we played the one that searches it. I'm a big fan of the Princess Route because it can typically get you an extra extender, but if I'm main decking DD Crow, there's no reason not to play it. And obviously, Link Rebo, Barricade Blocker is one of the better cards in the extra deck. Two Helix, uh, God card. This <laughs> card's so, broken. so dumb. I summoned two a couple times. It didn't come up too much. It was just to put respect on the dino deck. I didn't want to get Lithos Ash on turn one and have to rely on hard drawing souls. Yeah, that uh, would suck. Probably the best link monster in the extra deck. So many people just like would not stop this and then they hand trap me later once I'm already on a curious board. That moves and it just doesn't matter. Or going second, it's just a free non-targeting pop. It's just so strong and so versatile. There's so many ways to combo with it. It's crazy. Obviously, the four nightmares, you can't play without these. They're all important, Griffin being my favorite one. It just sets any card you need and being able to side deck floodgates with triple goods in your main deck. So you play four copies when you need the card and Curious in your extra gives you access to it as well or just one copy when you don't. Yeah. And then all these cards come up in different situations. You try to end on Cerberus past game one so you don't have to negate the uh, Lightning Storm with Trigate, which is kind of important. Yeah. Then just the big link monsters. Curious, one of the better ones as well. It just toolboxes any card you need out of your deck. Trigate. I don't think anyone let me do the full combo. I think they all just conceded before, which was kind of sad. I like styling on my opponent, but <laughs> it happens. Uh, the protector, hand traps, and then obviously portal sword. Oh, oh, portal load, and portal then portal load. sword. Both uh, of portals. Yeah, so I decided to play both of them because I wanted to respect Sleeper. In the mirror match, Sleeper, as everyone remembers from back in the day, is just really hard to out in the mirror. Phoenix, Unicorn, and Cerberus make it a lot easier, but if still you can go into a simplified game state where they hand trap you, you hand trap them back, and you summon a Bortle bo bo load, <laughs> and while they have Sleeper, you can just take theirs, summon your own, and then the game should practically end from there. It's really hard to come back from that. Yeah. So, so it came up a lot this weekend for yeah, you? Yeah, it came it up wise. not versus the Spyro, actually. I played versus... Uh, not Metaphys, it was the Worm deck, the Tenyi deck. Oh, and so I got really scared because I actually thought the deck was very interesting when it first came out and I figured out it can extra link you with two cards. Oh my so gosh. when he started with the same two cards I know it was an extra link, I thought I was just gonna have to concede. But he just ended on two monsters that like were unaffected, I can't die by battle, this, this, this was like my only way to like get rid of them. Oh wow. Yeah, so wow. if it wasn't, I summoned it twice because he composed it. If it wasn't for this card, I would have lost that match instantly. Like oh I just would not have an out to his monsters. And most importantly, the side deck. I thought the side deck was the best part of my deck because it covered almost everything. So two Lancia, uh, also one just like Orcus, if, just in case someone wanted to try it, or uh, Dinos. I actually never sided it in. The only time I sided it in was in the mirror match. 
uh, in top eight, I made Hani go first. I just wanted to have as many hand traps as possible. So like, even if it wasn't the most optimal one, he ends on a weaker board and he would have sided out some of his engine requirements to make his board even weaker. So I just wanted to be able to stop him somewhat and be able to attack for game. Uh, Tunabiru, I'm not a big fan of this card. I think it's like the least impactful hand trap, at least in the Spiral Mirror match, because it can be played around so easily or like when you get in a beard, you can just continue comboing. Uh, it's really good versus the Salad deck, but Salad shouldn't be as popular right now, at least in my personal opinion. But it's just nice overall. It's really good versus the Luna deck, but I just don't think the Luna deck's as strong as people believe it is, so I didn't want to respect it too much. Two twin, uh, back row, two mind control. I, you just have to outwind. I can't stress that enough. That card's like, a god card. Wind is just ridiculous, so you have to play mind control. Then, now these are the cards that should be in everyone's side deck. Two dark ruler, two lightning storm, and then two evenly. So these are like the blowout cards, the ones that like if you draw them you should win the game. Uh, evenly and storms are for back row decks. Uh, evenly and rulers are typically for combo decks. Uh, the reason you see everything in my side deck is a 2-2 split because I wanted to side so many different cards. I just did not have the room. It's the same thing for the hand traps in the main deck. I just wanted to have variety for a tournament like this with a lot of high caliber players. There's a lot of people that are going to be trying to like just play a deck different than meta to just do well because they know it's going to be consistent and they're a good player. So I just didn't want to lose to just random things during this event. It's Even though like you can afford to lose once or twice, I just didn't want to lose to Rogue or just a random deck that someone's a boss monster or anything like that. Yeah. And then last card, a pointer. So I chose this as like my curious target or my griffin target. This card's ridiculous. Looking People at don't your respect it. Hand, bro. The fact that I get to see your whole hand is huge. Like I can just negate the exact cards I need to. And then I drew it two other times that I didn't griffin it. I drew it round 11. Or it was. Um, I drew it with combo. I got double hand trapped in my combo. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Set a pointer. I know I can kill him the following turn. Yeah. I had pointer. Look at his hand. He had evenly double draw and uh, Manifestation, so like oh it just didn't God. matter what card I yeah. took out of his hand, he just could not play. And then on my next turn, since I have full knowledge, I just made a Boral Sword, searched off my mask plan, and then killed him. Wow, it was just, yeah. That card's amazing. Like, knowledge is so important in Yu-Gi-Oh! and people don't, I, I don't think people respect that, and that's why I thought this was the best one at all. That card's nice. So, that's everything. 41, 15, 15, and then this You're card. You're a free prize card, man. Free yeah, prize card. card. Alright, Ruben. Well, congratulations again, top four, my friend. You deserve it as always, man. Next time you get that win, man. Next YCS. Time, next time, bro. This 3v3. Yeah. 3v3. 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 But yeah, congratulations again, top four. Thanks for deck profile, bro. No problem.